all over 50s may have to get a fourth COVID vaccine dose this autumn, Sajid Javid has said. The health secretary gave the strongest hint yet that there will be a wider rollout of second boosters as the nation's immunity wanes. With COVID cases continuing to rise Mr. Javid also urged those aged 75 and over and the vulnerable to accept invitations for the spring COVID booster. There are also now about 14,000 COVID patients in hospital, up from around 12,000 a week ago. Although figures show 11,500 are incidental, where someone was admitted for another illness such as a fall before testing positive. In Scotland, the number of patients with coronavirus has reached the highest it has ever been since the start of the pandemic. But the health secretary said ministers are not worried about the increasing numbers, insisting the rise was always going to be the case as the country ended all restrictions. Urging common sense. Mr. Javid said that people who test positive should still self-isolate for at least four or five days before returning to work. Mr. Javid told the BBC, although case numbers are rising, infections are rising and indeed hospital numbers are rising, they are still way below their peak. And it's also important for us when we review this, understand why they are rising and that is primarily due to the increased social mixing we're seeing after the countries opened up. He added, there's no particular cause for concern at this point. Mr. Javid cautioned that people with COVID symptoms should socialize a bit less, stay indoors, and wait until they feel better. He said it would be down to the individual to decide whether or not to take a test after free testing for all adults in England ends on April 1st. Post April 1st if people have COVID symptoms, then they should just behave sensibly, like you would expect someone to really behave if they had flu symptoms in the past, and that is to socialize a bit less, stay indoors and and wait till you feel better, he said. Mr. Javid said there was a need to step back and think about how we learn to live with COVID and focus on our very best form of defense and that's the vaccination program.